And with the snip of the scissors clipping a red ribbon, it is now Millie Bailey Neighborhood Square in Columbia, named after this spunky and spry former lieutenant in the Women's Army Corps. Well, it is quite an honor, and the fact that it will be used in the community is very special. She's continued to serve our nation in a different way, serving as a food bank volunteer on the boards of hospitals, and as a veteran, she never forgot her Army roots, making care packages for servicemen and women during wartime. She's done that since 1966. And we have sent hundreds of packages to our deployed soldiers. This centenarian who served our nation on the front lines during the time of segregation and when women couldn't vote says she's seen a lot over the years, everything worth fighting for, hoping her service and military leadership is an inspiration to others. The Negroes had trouble voting. Now that's not a problem. I never dreamed that I would see a Negro president. And of course, that's quite a thrill. But many things have changed. There's still some things tied in with race, but overall, things are a lot better than they were when I grew up. And you could say that she's still breaking barriers as part of the celebration this week, a tandem skydive jump. I never was frightened, but it was an extreme honor and a lot of fun. Uh, something had been on my bucket list for many years, so I'm happy that I was able to do it. The park sits right next to the downtown lakefront here in Columbia. Bailey hopes that everyone can use the park for years to come. Phil Yakabuski, WBAL-TV 11 News.